Coaster Crew fans, here we are at Six Flags New England. It's my old stopping ground, my old home park, so I'm gonna see what has changed. Haven't been back here in many years. Uh, so let, let's see what I like, what I don't like, and if anything is awesome. So before you enter the park, you have to go up these stairs, which is sort of terrible. I don't know, I think it looks cool with the M&M sponsorship on it. It could be worse, it could be a sponsorship of something else. I'm just not really a fan of walking up the stairs like this. It kind of gets me tired before I even get to ride things. You know, since the last time I was here, they put in Goliath Towers. That's neat. Um, uh, Coma Boomerang, haven't been on it yet, but I like the waterfall. That's really what caught my eyes. Little prettiness. So yeah, we got a we got a waterfall here at Six Flags New England. Pretty neat stuff. Really like the entrance to uh, to Goliath sign. I think it looks cool. I mean, it looks like every other Goliath logo, but I mean, at least they they tried something. You can clearly tell that it used to be on the Platinum Fast Pass, as it's basically something covered up in black duct tape. Flash Pass entrance. And that's just the Goliath entrance. The ride really does look very tall and dominating here on the Six Flags New England Midway. But uh, it's pretty good to me. Nice little area. New for this year, uh, the New England Sky Streamer. It's this big tall tower right there. Pretty tall. We'll check what we can find up here. There you can see the uh, New England Skyscreamer swinging up above the crowds. It's in the white section now, coming down. Or is it going up? No, it's coming down. Bet you get some great views from up there. Got this plaza up here that's filled with uh, blacktop and stuff. The yeah, entrance place uh, looks kind of nice. Uh, crazy long line for the thing though. So uh, that's uh, unfortunate stuff. But then you got this, this cool little drink stand here. The souvenir bottles. I think I want one of those. So that should be some fun stuff. On second thought, I don't think I'm gonna get some stuff from here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are just bees flying all over, all over this thing, up in all the different pops. Like, that is just gross. Gross bees. Bees are gross. And people can be allergic to that, so bees are bad. Ooh, another pretty waterfall coming up here. Sponsored by MGM Springfield. A nice little spring here, it's really pretty. Kind of ends there, so hopefully the water gets recycled. Looks nice. We got a third uh, waterfall here. This one's a little green, but um, at least uh, it does something. This is the Fountains of Fortune, because Six Flags supports hundreds of organizations each month. The coins donated will go to. Uh, a different place and this one is going to give kids the world in my hometown of Orlando Florida so uh, everybody throw those nickels and dimes here and those quadas into the uh, the pond to give kids the world coming up here is the Daily Planet the Lex Luthor Arcade and the entrance to Bizarro I actually really like this sort of section the fake comic book thing sort of reminds me of uh, Universal's uh, Mar Marvel Superhero Island. You got your, uh, your test seat here. And then you got your, your height indicate here, where, sorry, you're not able to ride if you're that small. Or if you're that tall, you can't ride either. But I like all the, uh, the theme signs and stuff. And the, uh, the funky test seat, which apparently this test seat is not even remotely accurate. But it's got a handy little button that releases the lap bar, which is kind of cool. Whatever you do, don't push the green button. Yeah. Another common thing you get it when you come to a Six Flags park is flat rides that uh, are abandoned and not operating. Another one here is the uh, Joker's Wild Card, which used to be indoors, actually, if I remember correctly. It was in an old building and there was a different flat ride here. I, I could be mistaken. Comment if I'm wrong, or if I'm right. But uh, it's not operating today. I don't know if it hasn't been down for a while. But you got Bizarro rattling around. It was actually kind of rough. Um, rougher than I remember. But I mean, it's still airtime thriller thingy. 
horses going around and healing. Stuff, but kind of a shame. Uh, not that I was actually planning on riding this ride, but uh, it, it's a shame to see flat rides just go to waste, especially one that's, that's kind of pretty like this. But there's Bizarro. Part of the ride that sort of gets missed when you're on the ride but looks really cool from off-ride is this Superman mist tunnel where you come flying through the shields. But I gotta admit, it's probably really bad for the photo booth over here because all of that water is going straight onto their monitors and things like that. That has to fry out their electronic system. Uh, not really sure, but pretty cool part of the ride. Something new since the last time I was here, which the actual ride doesn't look very new at all, is Gotham City Gauntlet Escape from Archive Asylum. It's a long name for this ride. You can see it's just a uh, standard wild mouse. But uh, well the cars have pretty cool theming on it, and it doesn't trim a lot, so it, it kind of hurts a lot. It really wasn't the, the, the most thing, er, pleasant thing, but you know, uh, at least it didn't have that much of a line. But of course, uh, this is why everybody's really here. That guy right there. Bizarro, Superman, whatever you want to call it, the big purple thing. It's pretty good. I'm not sure if this is allowed, but this family is like hanging out in the grass area next to the, uh, next to the, the Gotham City Gauntlet. Can you look at that? More of a bee problem going up into all the slushies. That's gross. I found this shirt in the gift shop. It made me kind of laugh. I just wish it said Six Flags somewhere other than just the label, like on the sleeve or something like that. Like, Six Flags New England. That would, that would make me happy. But the shirt itself makes me laugh. Got the other generic Superman, Batman stuff over here. Red Superman. Superman taking a selfie of himself. Hashtag selfie. God, I, I, I just hate everybody. Hashtag selfie. And over here we have some Sky Screamer merchandise. 2014. And then right over here we got four shots at once. If anyone could take four shots at once, I don't know anyone who would ever want to attempt that. But you can have four shots at once over here. Other merchandise here. What do we have here? Six Flags New England shot glass with jaws? Um, nom 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 nom. It's fun. But you get your Sky Screamer stuff here. I kind of like this one with the mouth. It's kind of cool. Not, not actually a fan of that shirt, but this one was uh, crafted with pride in the USA. Isn't that swell? Nothing says Six Flags more like Grumpy Cat. I love biking. And Walking Dead shirts. And whatever this guy is right here. Hello, Mr. Legend. How are you today? High five. Here on the uh, south end of Six Flags New England, you get this typical black top Six Flags Midway with uh, games, games, more games of a Comats LC. And then you get Batman. Pretty, pretty good ride, huh? Doesn't seem to be running right now, though. I haven't sent a train since we got off. But it's a pretty fun ride. Walking further over this way. Whenever you're ready, man. You can see uh, more Batman. See the other part of the ride. The uh, Coach Cruz over there. We got a, a game that's really only like a northern game. Like you, you couldn't get away with having this in Florida. It's a put the puck in the net kind of game. Like we might have hockey, but I just I don't I don't see it being a thing. In, uh, in Florida. And a pretty cool themed uh, swing here, the Gotham City Crime Wave. Two Face and all of them. It's just kind of strange you have two different DC areas in the park. I don't quite get that, but yeah. I don't know. But here's Batman's entrance. Kind of cool. I don't know if they have a bat. I wish they had a Batmobile. They don't have one over here. 
But yeah, I can't tell. What are you doing? Are they taking people off the ride, or what's going on? It doesn't seem like anyone's anyone's on the ride right now. Everyone's off. Where's the other train? There's no other train either. It's, I'm not really sure what's going on. Weird. As you can see, uh, Batman here is uh, down. A lot of people waiting in line outside of the entrance. Uh, if you look over here, there's there's people on it right now. Not really hanging out. You know. Oh, making noises. I hear noises in the station. What could be happening? Kind of want to ride it again. Hi guys. Those people are stuck. Look at Batman go. Other thing! Over there! And now it's gone. We got a slingshot over here, and um, just sort of judging. You're fine. Judging by uh, this kind of stuff. I don't know how I really want to do that. So, uh, I'm gonna pass, but they have a ton of, like, just nothing space over here next to uh, this stuff here. In that basketball game. This is a nice little shady section of the park over here. Check this out. Look how adorable this section over here is. It's awesome. We are in the uh, Rockville section of the park. Nice, more uh, asphalty blacktop. It's got the uh, Kids Tropolis sign right over there. It's themed to like, with the 60s. This is a 60s theme, would you say 70s? I don't know what decade this is. 60s, let's go with 60s. Um, you have the diner there. Not really a diner, more like a quick service restaurant called a diner. But uh, I can read. You've got your trash cans down the middle of the road and a traffic light. And the uh, New England sky shower thingies up there. I'm just doing terrible with names of things today. I don't know. There used to be a, a flat ride over here, but I, I'm pretty sure it's gone because uh, there's a bunch of benches and bushes. Yeah, that's a very uh, Six Flags thing right here. Take out a flat ride and replace it with uh, benches and bushes. Visit Price is going up and yet there's a little less rides to ride than there used to be. But you got more games over here. Some chicken boneless wings. Might actually be tasty, I don't know. Screens over there. The lockers over there. It's go time. Over here we got the Thunderbolt entrance, and the Thunderbolt is famous as it is an Ace his Coaster landmark. See, there's the logo, and there's the date, and there's what it says if you're interested in reading it. I don't know if you actually see it, you probably need high definition YouTube video. But I'm sure if you Googled it hard enough, you would probably find the answer to what this says. But there you go, Ace Historic Landmark. One thing that is uh, not so historic is this midway right here. Look how narrow this is. You would think this is like a path or an exit path or something. No, this is like a, a midway. Like, so narrow, I don't get it. That's what that is. Hey look, there's Pizarro. Over here we got the Great Chase Kitty Coaster you can ride, but it's really kind of cool how it like fits through the bushes and stuff. Um, standard Kitty Coaster style thing, but a little bit of cool bushes. And then you got over here the carrots. So you go past the carrots, which are good for your eyesight apparently. 
the more you know. Hey, check it out. This is where they move Jaws to. I want to ride the Jaws ride. All right, here we got this little uh, country midway, Cracks Axle Canyon up here. Uh, it's the fabulous Houdini ride, Houdini's Great Escape, which um, uh, not a lot of people end up liking. And then you got Goliath over here, and some more country stuff here. This place over here has lots of beers. Although, they closed earlier today. I guess it looks like they're back open. Nope, maybe they're closed. She walked away. They put the cabs off, so I guess they ran out of beer. It's a saloon. Inside this place right here, they got more beer. And then they also have uh, Coke Freestyle. We like Coke Freestyle, so you'll probably have to get one of those. You got lots of alcohol inside here, too. Into the different cases, you've got some beer, some wine, some more beer, and some draft beers up there. So you got your Coke Freestyle, and then you got all your uh, Boston sports stuff here with lots of TVs inside this barbecue place. Now this midway outside of the Cracks Axle Canyon is sort of the, the generic midway. I don't really know, like, it's got fish and chips, as well as Panda Express. And you got a, a Pacoma Boomerang, which I didn't ride because they suck. And parks need to know that their Pacoma Boomerangs are not fun rides. But yet people still line up for them. And so uh, you need to learn that. They got the uh, New England Skyway, the Von Roll thing here. Didn't ride that. Pretty long line. Different food options like steak and cheese. Oh, that sounds good. Some fries. Panda Express. Their Kung Fu Chicken is the best. Got a pandemonium here. Ooh, a Looney Tunes stage show going on right over there. That's pretty neat. And you got the uh, New England Sky Screamer Star Flyer thingy up there. And they got all these LED lights underneath the bottom of the, uh, the ride here. I don't know what they're for. But they got pretty much every pillar has an LED light underneath it. So that's kind of cool. There's that ride. Going over there. It's a pretty relaxing ride. Not too intense. Not too thrilling. But fun. Pretty impressive to believe that that was in the Mall of America. They fit that exact layout there. Pretty cool stuff. There's your close cyclone over there, people. Um, we have another video that you can check out that has uh, all the different cyclone stuff. But there it is right there, guys. Close cyclone. That's a shame. So here's something I think is interesting. It's got cyclone listed as closed. It says cyclone is closed indefinitely, cannot reserve. So I guess it really is closed. It's kind of funny it's still on there, though. Like, you would have thought they would have just taken it off. Maybe that's more complicated than I thought. These are all your different other rides. Well, all good days have to come to an end. This is the way you walk out of the park. Uh, for this year, it too is blacktop. It used to be uh, cobblestone, but I guess it was uh, un, uh, unsafe and things like that. Oh, Captain Kate's in there. Clever name for a store that, you know, sells Captain Kate's. You got some characters over there. <laughs> Stuff. I mean, it's a really nice section of the park. It's probably the prettiest out of everything. It's the, the little entrance exit plaza. Oh. Exclusive of ride time from 10 p.m. till midnight on July and Tomahawk. And stampede bumper cars. That's cool. Fun stuff. Well, I gotta go uh, turn my flash pass. been helpful today. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you guys uh, check out some more of our videos on YouTube, youtube.com slash coastercrew. You also can check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash coastercrew. Follow the legend at coastercrew at Twitter. You can follow myself at Drew the Intern on Twitter. Also listen to In The Loop. It's, it's great. Always tell you the latest stuff. And make sure you guys watch Coaster Toaster News, our new uh, YouTube video every single week. 
gives you the news and some other fun stuff. Anyway, this is us checking out from Six Flags, New England. Make sure you also check out our uh, cyclone construction video that will also be going up. Thank you guys, and you guys have a great night.